Hi guys. I always do this but like I go live and forgot forget to put the like title in the live. And then all that fun shit. Can you just talk about how Victoria's Secret makes Christmas crop tops? I'm just going to put this. Christmas crop tops. It's so cute, isn't this? Who makes Christmas crop tops? Because this shit's adorable. I'm like living for it. Victoria's Secret does. I don't even ever support that company. So I got it at the thrift store. But it is cute. Not really. Alright, so. Don't even know what our topic is for today, but we're definitely behind on lives. So, we're going to talk about lots of shit tonight and just cover whatever I guess we want to talk about. But say hi to me so that I feel like I'm loved because that'd be great. And I can start babbling. Okay. Okay. So, once everybody tunes in, I'll start talking. Um, and hi, Meredith going over what we're going to be talking about today. Um, let me look at what our topic list is. This is why I need 17 screens, just so everybody knows. Do you know sometimes when you accidentally click on something in the marketplace being like, is this available? Did not mean to click that. Sorry, did not actually want to talk to you. Um, anywho, looking at my topics, because we're going to talk about really important things. We're going to hit three topics at least tonight. Um, and just go over them super quick. Not really. You know me. I don't go over things super quick. Um, yeah. So, I guess I'm looking for the feature. There we go. So, we're going to talk about the nitty gritty of erotica experiences today, which everybody's been asking about. Um, apparently, I don't think I've done that yet. I'm trying to get someone in here for a live shoot. I forgot to do it. On my one yesterday, I was really planning on going live at my shoot yesterday, so I might just have to make someone come get naked on Saturday or Sunday or something and just go live, or I'll fucking do. So, anyone wanna come? Anybody wanna come get naked on Sunday, and I will shoot you live, and it'll be great. Yeah, cool. We'll do that. Maybe I don't know. And then your experience, mindset, and outcome, and we're going to go over digitals and products and all that shit too. So we're going to talk about a lot. So um, I'm just going to write in the title like what we're going to talk about today, which was nitty gritty of erotica. And then the experience, experience mindset, and our offerings. Products versus digitals. And I want everybody's input on these topics as well as I talk about them. And I know I say that all the time, like, please talk to me during. And I really mean it in this sense because talking about the difference in products versus digitals and what people want and um, how they are viewed, um, how you show them, all of that um, is super important. So um, we're going to go over that. Also, there's like one person watching. You people suck. Just kidding. So, um, the nitty gritty, I'm going to start with the nitty gritty of erotica because I feel like that's the best thing to talk about. Um, I absolutely am infatuated with erotica, so we're just going to talk about it. So, um, a lot of people ask me, like, the difference between boudoir and erotica, um, and that's probably the number one question I get. I guess it's not as clear enough on my website as it needs to be, so I'm going to change that. Um, but erotica involves intimate acts and actual sex and pictures of private areas. So boudoir does not include that. It can, um, boudoir can like lead your eye to that, give the idea of something. Um, but it's not actually ever happening. Like during a boudoir session, those things are never actually happening. I will not take pictures of that area. We do not do any action of that. Um, and it's, not so sexualized. Um, boudoir is definitely more about being sexy and I don't know, whatever. That kind of thing. It's just not about the sex or the act of it. Um, so erotica is. And so 
the nitty gritty of erotica is knowing who you are sexually. Um, and if you don't know, being open to learning who you are sexually. Um, erotica involves this idea of leaving your comfort zone or, you know, being slightly uncomfortable with the fact that someone's going to be in these intimate moments with you. They're going to be not ex kind of experiencing this, these intimate moments with you. Like I'm not actually feeling what you're feeling, um, but I am a part of them and I'm there viewing them and I'm creating art from them. So um, it's getting past this um, hold and this idea of, you know, that usually not being accepted, um, but it's accepted. It's accepted, ex accepted and expected in this area and during that kind of a session. And you feel so invigorated most of the time. I will say all my clients definitely feel invigorated by the idea of this and by doing it. Um, and I know I definitely understand it. So it allows you to develop these sensations and desires and fantasies and allows you to openly be okay with things that you might not even know that you were into before. I might be like, hey, and give you a list of things. And in your erotica contract does have a list of things. It has like a list of sexual things that you might be into or want to do during your um, erotica session and you get to check them, you get to read them um, and whatever. And so you might not even know that you're into something and see it on the list and be like, oh, hey, Brie, can you just like give a go over this and tell me what this is um, and whatever. And then you might be like, so I didn't think about that, but I'm totally into it. So we should definitely, like, definitely do that. Um, for erotica, I don't have any like... There's only a couple lines that can't be crossed. Um, and most of them are, I mean, all of them are because of danger um, and legal things. Like, you can't come in here and shit on somebody. It's not allowed. I can't deal with your human waste. So we're not going to do that. Um, or pee on somebody. Can't do that either. And no blood play, no piercing, no any of that. Um, but you can come and do pretty much all the other stuff um, about plays on the table, toys are on the table, bondage is on the table, all of that is on the table. I've had people bring spanking benches, I've had people bring crosses, um, floggers, whips, paddles, um, yeah, I get all the fun stuff. Wax, I mean, anything you can think of, really. Um, and it's all out. We do DDLG and we, it's funny because um, my assistant Jackie was going through the client closet yesterday and she was like, do you have dinosaurs in here? Like, is this a dinosaur lingerie set? And there was like another cutesy one. And I was like, oh, so I totally, totally have dinosaur lingerie in there. And I was like, that's for like my DDLG girls. I was like, that's for my, my people who are into like um, age play and all that fun stuff. I was like, it's just some outfits that maybe will work for their idea and their vision and their fantasy and whatever. So we are accepting of it. We have no judgment towards it. Um, and we love, I love it, like being able to see these different walks of life and allowing you into the world of acceptance and no shame and judgment during their, your session. Um, it's fun. The nitty gritty of erotica. A lot of people ask if you can finish. It's 100% acceptable to finish. 90% of my people finish during their session. Um, that's not really an issue. Sometimes it is. Um, sometimes it's a choice. Um, I have some people who choose not to. Um, so whatever that is. Or they like don't want to finish in a way that is good for being captured on camera. And I'm like, well, that kind of makes zero sense. But that's not my point. But it's cool. <laughs> um... But some people don't finish, some people do, um, and when they do, we just choose where it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, all that fun stuff, and it's really, it's, like, exciting, invigorating, all of that, but also one of the funniest, like, it's so funny at that, I feel like every time someone finishes, we laugh within 30 seconds of that, because normally something ridiculous happens, um, I don't remember whose session it was, I think somebody drooled on someone after finishing, and, like, wiped it up and laughed and was that that might be somebody who's watching but I don't remember if it was but we laughed so hard because he would like apologize for the spit but like had just came all over it was great um it's just 
I think people expect um, erotica to be super serious. Um, and it's fun and it's serious and it has its moments and whatever. But it's also probably, like, we laugh so much. There's so many jokes and it's so funny. So it's just really exciting and fun and comfortable. Um, and I don't think anything... Look, was it you? <laughs> I don't remember. I think... I'm trying not to remember, but I'm also trying not to, like, call it out if it was you, so I'm not gonna say anything. It's cool. Um, <laughs> you got me off topic? Sorry. Um, yeah, so it's fun because we get to dive into this and have, <laughs> and have this experience and experience it and go through all these things and capture them into art and people are always like I don't even know how you're gonna get like good photos or my favorite comment when I talk about erotica is like oh my man will last two minutes I hope you can like create a gif or hope you can capture a lot of pictures in the 30 seconds and I'm like bro I'm gonna edge your man better than you've ever edged him in your whole life so let's go you got to have a whole new experience whole new experience and that's fun the fun part about it is like um I've actually I feel like taught couples that edging is a super fun thing and if you want them to last longer if you want to do these new things if you want to provide new things to your relationship um this is a way to do it so um I find that the edging during the session is actually um it sometimes can hinder but most of the time it's really fun and it creates a lot more different poses and all that great stuff so it works um trying to think of the nitty-gritty of it so you can finish we have wipes you clean up with the wipes we clean up blah 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 that's fun all done bing bang boom finishing kind of ends the session so it's not like you can come in and finish in like 10 minutes and then finish again and then finish again it's not how it works like we just finishing kind of ends it which is why we edge for so long so um that's what that is uh let's see what else Cleanliness is super important for erotica. I really recommend like really cleaning and wiping and all that stuff. I do have like wipes in the bathroom, like um, vagina wipes and all the other fun stuff to clean up and make sure that you are clean down there just because you are going to have so many photos of those areas that making sure that they're clean and not looking weird or not weird, but you know what I mean? Like they're just clean. It's important. Um, that's kind of the nitty gritty of it all. The uh, the normal time frame for an erotica session is about three hours. Um, that is not all sex, okay? Like erotica is not you walk in the door and bing bang boom. Like my clients do not walk in, take off all their clothes, and just start fucking in front of me. It doesn't happen like that. Um, it's a lead, so we start with her like in lingerie, and we him and usually if it's a guy, them in pants. And slowly like undress from there and we go into um cutesy and get like you know in touch with each other and rubbing each other and all that fun stuff and then kissing and blah 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 then we get naked um and start with foreplay and it's a lead you know it's actually exactly what sex should be it's like 75 percent foreplay and 20 percent sex and like five percent laughing though i kind of recommend like 10 percent laughing 20 percent sex all that fun shit. So, um, I hope that makes sense. Any questions on my erotic experiences or anything else I can tell you guys? I feel like there's like no comments today. Um, I feel like I'm talking out my butt. No one's talking to me. Rawr. Rawr. Meow. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna be a cat. I should not have done that. <laughs> um, so ask me questions before I move on to the next thing. Talk to me about sex and erotica and anything you have to ask about that experience that maybe I haven't covered or you've always wondered or you're intrigued by or any of it because that's what I'm here for. So, <sighs> Am I coming to New York? I am planning to come to New York in the summer, the summer, um, is kind of the plan that we will be there um, for probably just a couple days in the summer um, so that we can, you know, wrap, have some shoots. I have some bookings already. They're like tentative for the dates that I'm booked, but like people who are on my waiting list for New York. So if you want to jump on that, you can. You can join my New York waiting list whenever you want. Um, but I will be there this summer coming up, which seems really crazy. Like it seems far away, but not far away. 
Okay, so, um, hi Taylor. Yeah, so New York this summer is how that's going. Um, waiting list, email me, I'll put you on it, I'll let you know, you can sign up, whatever. Um, you can start your prepayment plan, you can do all that jazz. Uh, okay, so the next thing I was supposed to be talking about today is the experience mindset. Um, I like the idea of saying, um, all you have to do is show up, right? So I know I talk a lot about like the homework and the assignments and all that, and that might seem really daunting. Um, the idea of it and actually having to put that effort in and work in can seem really daunting. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything. I won't force you to do anything, but it will make your experience 10 million times better. You'll grow so much more by doing those things, um, but you don't have to. But all you have to do is show up. By showing up and doing the assignments and homework, you're showing up for yourself. That's not showing up for me, right? So by doing those and choosing to do those and putting in those work and taking the time for them and realizing that you're worth that work, you're showing up for yourself. So finally you're choosing you. And that's a big deal to me. Um, and I think that's why I have the assignments and why I have the work and why we do all that is because I want you guys to choose yourself. I want you to put in the work. I want you to grow. Um, and I want every little bit of that to happen for you. And so that's why I've done this and why I've created those things. So the mindset really needs to be that it's not just a photo session that you can just, you know, roll over in the morning, get out of bed and go to, which you can. Um, I just don't like that. I want you to invest in you more. It's a big investment. I understand that. And I think that's a big thing um, people really don't get. Like, they see my pricing. They see all of that. And, you know, I get a lot like, oh, I just can't, like, afford it. But most of the time now I get, you know, you're totally worth it. I'm going to save. Um, I'm going to budget for next year. Let's start a payment plan. I actually don't get a lot of the, like, I can't afford you anymore, uh, which is nice. But I also understand that it's a huge investment. Like, I understand that this isn't, like, a paycheck. Or maybe it is a paycheck. But it's not like a small thing. And investing, choosing to invest in yourself that deeply um, and that much for this kind of experience makes me feel like you should get as much as you possibly can out of it. Um, and that's why I do provide all the things I provide and why I've created this whole experience and why I'm still educating myself and growing to be a sexologist and growing to be a coach and growing to do all this is because you're investing in yourself, but you're also investing in an experience with me in which you want what, like what, I think I'm going to add that question to like my forum is like, what do you hope to like get from this besides gorgeous photos, like besides the photos, what do you hope to have from this experience and how can we make that happen? Um, and what is that going to take on your end? Because it's not just my end. Like I can provide this experience and I can do it, but what is it going to take from you to actually invest in that, to actually take the time to create this whole thing and invest in the experience for yourself and not monetarily, but also like with time and effort and emotion. Um, and just say, hey, I'm worth it. Like, hey, it's worth it. Um, I deserve this. Um, I am in need of this. I'm worthy of this. Um, because, as I said, I think that the investment to me is a decent amount. And so that's why I offer payment plans. That's why I offer all of this. So I put so much into it is because I want you to walk away understanding that that investment is so little compared to what you got from it. And the more you get from it, like the assignments and the homework and the building and the growing and the reflecting and the meeting with me and just all of it and using this group to its full potential is so much more than the investment that you've made in it monetarily. It's so much more than that because you've taken it and made it so much more and allowed me to. So I think that mindset that instead of just looking at it as the money, but looking at it as what you can do with it and grow from it and use from it is what is actually going to make the difference. Um, the photos are going to be stunning. You're going to look beautiful. Um, you're going to have the most amazing captured pieces of art, but you can also walk away with so much more in terms of self growth, um, and sexual growth and emotional growth. 
and confidence growth and all of that. So why not? Like, why? Why not take it? And the great thing is, like, okay, cool. You don't, like, forget. You don't finish your homework um, before your session. You don't finish your assignments. Who said you had to do them before your session? Like, you still have them. You still have the emails. You still have the videos. You still have all of it. So take the time even after your session, when you're feeling down and feeling like shit or whatever, take the time to go back to those assignments and reflect and start them and work on them. Um, or if you've done them already, message me and be like, hey, Bree, is there any chance that you have like other assignments that you think like we, I can do to work on this topic? I will be your free coach to send you free homework for that day. I'm not going to free coaching sessions with you, but I will send you free assignments. I will assign you assignments to help you grow if you message me asking for something to grow in. If you're like, I need to grow in this area. I'm falling behind in this area. I feel this way in this area. I will 100% give you assignments to help you there. So you just have to ask. That's what I'm here for. So um, that's a big thing, I guess. Does that help? Hope I'm answering questions or giving you guys things. There's like five of you watching, but that's fine. Um, okay, so now we're on to products versus digitals. Also, if you don't know, it's Christmas. So um, you, you gotta enjoy Christmas. And I think that um, I'm gonna like do a discount. Like if you drop a Christmas picture on Black Friday, I give you $10 off or something. Cause it's Christmas. I love Christmas so much. So does my child. Anywho, cool. Um, so much that these are my nails. Santa's on them. I know you guys are not here for my nails, but I feel like you should be. This is, this is Mr. Claus. Oh, where's my camera? Oh, you can't see him. That's really awkward. He's, okay, whatever. Anyway, Santa's on my finger, and he's really cute. He's also on these guys, on this one. He's adorable. Anywho, cool. So let's talk products versus digitals. Um, I'm going to go over, like, percentages. I'm going to go over the difference pricing-wise. I'm going to go over why people choose different things and that and then tomorrow my goal is to go live and show off the products somehow without getting banned on facebook so signed we don't forget if you book on black friday well one of these limited spots you get one of those free accordion mini accordion albums and they're fire. Like, I just ordered one of my husband's photos. Oh, my God. Like, eyes rolled back, make my toes curl. Because, mm, he's just, he's just light. But also, like, they are so stunning. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 guys. Um, So, for, I'm going to talk different things. So, products and digitals. Um, the thing is that if you go with a collection, you get both. So no matter what collection you you choose, you're going to get some products, some product, and some digitals. The warm up has products, a product, and digitals. The next um, eye catching has digitals and product, and so does favorite, the favorite, and so does the experience. Every single one is going to have a little bit of both. Um, if you go separate and buy just product, they don't include digitals, but you can add on corresponding digitals for like a, a price. I don't even remember what the price is. Um, but if you buy just digitals, there's not like an add on an album for this price. That's just not how that works. Um, my full gallery. So if you decide for your whole session, you want every picture that I'm going to show to you during your viewing, which tends to be like 150 sometimes. I think Meredith got Meredith's gallery was like 300, but we're not going to talk about that. Erotica tends to be more than that. Um, I tend to definitely show about 200 at least for an erotica session. Um, it's a lot more movement. It's a lot more um, acts instead of like, I don't know. There's just a lot more going on, okay? Um, so I do tend to show more for erotica. Other thing about erotica is that 90% of my erotica clients just choose digitals. 90% of my erotica clients walk in and choose just the 
to just get their full gallery. They don't want me to print them. I don't know where they're gonna get them printed if I'm not printing them. Like, I don't know. But, like, they just want their digitals. Um, or they want wall art. So that's it. Wall art or digitals is literally um, where erotica stands pretty much all the time. Um, sometimes I'll do an album, but not often. It doesn't really happen for um, for erotica. Boudoir, I would say that most people always choose either an album or a folio box. I found that in the past year, my folio box sales um, and clients who choose folio boxes, which are stunning, um, has like gone through the roof. Everybody's choosing the folio box now and I love it. So folio box, I'm going to go live tomorrow and show actual samples of this and go through them and just give descriptions, but they are um, beautiful boxes that inside have individual prints so you can take them out and put them on a stand or put them on the wall or whatever. Um, whereas an album is a beautiful, I don't want to say book because it's definitely not like a book, but um, a beautiful piece that opens and has a bunch of pictures on the different pages. Um, it's either way they're beautiful, but those are the two things I really offer is the album or the folio box and then digitals and wall art. So you kind of bounce between. Thing with me is with you order wall art, you're usually ordering a metal. So you're gonna order um, a metal print, which means that it is printed on metal and then it either has a mounted backing or a um, stand backing. So this is a metal. It's not, it's popping off the wall because it's a mounted metal and it's just there. So this is my office. Please do not mind how dirty it is. This is a canvas. Those are metals. Metals, canvas, metals, oh, sorry, I'll lift it up. Metals, canvas, metals, you know. So, this is what my office looks like. I like to stare at beautiful people all day, so. Um, my office is a mess, that's besides the point. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Why, a lot of people are like, oh well, like, digitals must be cheaper, so like, I'll just choose digitals. Probably one of the biggest questions I get asked on top of the what the difference is between boudoir and erotica. Um, the question of, oh, well, like, what if I just get, what if I just get my digitals? You're probably going to pay more. It's just the truth. Um, my digital full gallery is $29.50, I think, or $29.75. The reason for that is you can take them and get them printed wherever you want, whenever you want, do whatever. You have a full print release when you buy your digital gallery. Um, that means you're no longer ordering through me. I can no longer control quality of the prints that you are ordering of my artwork. You are no longer, like I'm no longer in control of how beautiful those pieces are gonna come out because you are gonna get them printed probably somewhere cheap without any care in the world about how gorgeous those prints are gonna come out. Um, that bothers me. I would 10 million times rather you order them for me and I know that that piece of art is going to look like my colors, it's going to look stunning. They're going to be clear. They're going to be beautiful. And if for some reason they come in looking wrong, I'm going to get them replaced for you. There's just so much. So buying digitals for me isn't cheaper. Um, like, I think the warm-up collection is an al a 15 image album and um, 15 corresponding digitals. And I want to say it's like 2,000. So 10 digitals from me is thirteen fifty. So if you think about it, like fifteen digitals would be like, God, I suck. It would be like two thousand anyway, right? If you think about how that math works, so fifteen digitals would sit around two thousand dollars anyway. But instead, you're going to get fifteen digitals and an album of those fifteen digitals for that price. Clearly, it's smarter to get the album and the digitals than just buying the digitals. Because I want you to have beautiful representation of your artwork. I want you to have a beautiful memory and piece to look at of your experience and a reminder of that. Digitals are great. You know, you put them on your phone, your background, it reminds you of your bad bitch every morning. It's perfect, but that piece, like in your hands, like that tangible thing is, there's no feeling like it. Um, and everybody will tell you there's just nothing you can get your digital gallery sent to your phone and it's fun and it's great and you're excited. But the feeling of holding your photos and like flipping the page and seeing that is like, 
or even opening it and seeing yourself is just a whole different feeling than just a digital on your phone. So I 10 million times recommend having them printed. My house is covered in wall art of not just, you can see behind me, but like my family is everywhere. There is literally canvases or metals or something all over my house. In front of me is my work. Behind me is my family. In the hallway is my family. The studio is my work. My bedroom is covered in myself and my husband um, and us together. And then we now have a new folio box that I ordered of us together. Um, and what we do is we open the folio box and it like leans against the wall. So the top is like leaned. And then the box is here with the prints. The prints are sitting here. And then we sit a print here on display, leaning on the front of it. Um, and we switch it out. And my husband switches it out when he's getting ready for work in the morning. So when I wake up, it's usually a new picture, usually once a week. And it's like, I don't know, one, it shows me like he's thinking about me too. It shows me like he's thinking about us as a couple and that like has an impact on him. And three, it's just a nice reminder of like, wow, we're really sexy and look at our intimate connection and damn, I'm a bad bitch. Like, mm, look at that butt. Mm -mm -mm. And then I just stare at him and how gorgeous he is. But it's just like nice, like connection. Like, if I woke up and looked at my phone, it was a picture of me, but I was looking at my phone at that picture every day, it wouldn't have the same impact. But because, sorry, because I am seeing it tangible and I'm waking up to it every morning and, like, looking at that picture and it's changing, like, that has a really positive impact on me and my day and how I carry myself. So, um, I highly recommend tangible things versus digital as I said, digitals are great because one, you're sharing them with people. So share my work all the time. Makes me happy. Two, that means you're proud of them because you're like, I want to show you all these gorgeous, sexy pictures of me. Like, mm, 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 mm. But I think tangible, pro tangible products always win. But if you can do both, you do both. And it's always smarter to do both. You're going to save so much by doing both. So that's all I have to say. Any questions? Anything I can answer? Anything I haven't covered that maybe you want to know? Um, the sale is super close. Black Friday is literally three days away. I posted that. You should have got the email today that said, hey guys, 72 hours till Black Friday goes live. Are you ready? I'm kind of excited. So. Um, and then I woke up to like 20 emails and like 10 text messages and all this other stuff about people being really excited for it. So if you guys want to just put um, good vibes into the universe and manifest um, a great experience and great launch and great all of that for me on Black Friday, that'd be great. Um, this way, with these bookings from Black Friday... Um, I can kind of plan out my 2022 calendar um, and plan my empowerment events and focus more on those kind of planning things and things too. And I'm really excited for just what I have envisioned for next year um, and what's going to happen with the boudoir studio and where I plan to go and that you're all with me. So um, if you want to just manifest with me and be happy, peppy people and enjoy um, the moon thing eclipse that's happening tonight, Jackie can tell you all about it because she's really great at all that shit. Um, but just all those positive vibes, take them in from the planet if you're into that. If you're not, live your best life anyway, I guess. Um, but just be happy, collect all those happy vibes and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Oh, and remember, our calendars are still on sale. I'm going to be ordering them next week. So if you want one of the... 2021 boudoir studio calendars with us hot girls in it you need to order now because they're that order is going in and you're going to miss out if you don't order now because i'm only ordering the number for the number i have so love you guys bye